Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have now officially arrived at the season three finale of the Harley Quinn animated series. And this has been a wild ride so far. I mean, 10 episodes. It's been spanning the whole summer since July. It's just been a whole lot of fun. I, I mean, I've, I talk about it all the time, pretty much every episode, how much I love this show. And there's a reason for it because it is just such a good show. Not only is it hilarious and just nice to see some of these obscure DC characters you don't get to see very often, see them put in these weird, violent, raunchy situations, but also it's just genuinely a good show for the characters and story. I just love it so much. And the season three finale definitely did not disappoint. I was a little concerned going into this because after last week's episode, I was like, okay, now what? Like, where is this going to go from here? They kind of solved their big problem with the plant zombies and Ivy's plant apocalypse, basically. But now in this episode, they still come up with something creative that I actually really enjoyed and I had a lot of fun with. So we are going to go and jump in this and break down the episodes. Of course, if you haven't seen it yet, then spoiler warning for Harley Quinn, Season 3, Episode 10. All right, so basically this episode, of course, follows up seconds after uh, Episode 9, where... Ivy's plan has now failed, and she's super upset about this. Harley sacrificed herself, so then Ivy had to uh, sacrifice her Eden apocalypse in order to save the love of her life. So that's what d went down there, and now we kind of see the aftermath of this when Ivy just basically runs away. She's super upset. She's off with Frank, and they're in, I believe, a grocery store when Lex Luthor contacts them and he says, like, you know, he's liking what he's seeing, basically, with what she did, with the little resources she had to work with, and he wants to rebuild the Legion of Doom and he wants her to lead it. Which, honestly, I think is pretty cool because, I mean, Poison Ivy has been a member in the comics and we had this brought up in Season 1 when Harley was trying to join the Legion of Doom. Um, I would love to see the Legion of Doom make a comeback. I mean, most of the characters died. Um, but I would love to see them make a comeback. It was really great to see John Carlos Pizzito back as Lex Luthor once again. We haven't seen him in a while. Um, so that was nice to see. And at first, she agrees. So Ivy accepts his offer and then, of course, he goes back to Catwoman's apartment and she then tells Harley about this whole plan. And Harley at first is a little hesitant about it. But then, you know, of course, her being the supportive girlfriend she is, she then says, all right, let's do this. Let, let's join the Legion of Doom. Let's lead the Legion of Doom. The only thing is the kind of the uh, audition to lead the Legion of Doom from Lex Luthor is that he wants them to kill the mayor. And the mayor, of course, is the Joker. So they go to the world premiere of the Thomas Wayne movie, a hard Wayne's gonna fall and this is where really all the big action goes down in this episode because everyone is there Bruce Wayne was invited um you know despite his uh uncomfortableness with it but he says you know I have to face my fears and all this stuff you get a bunch of great cameos Swamp Thing, Clock King, Riddler, um Captain Cold I believe was there just a lot of familiar faces that we've seen throughout the season and really the whole series in general uh, but then, of course, as everyone is watching the movie, the movie begins. Clayface is having his big moment because, you know, he's basically the star of the film, Billy Bob Thornton, because the real one died, but nobody knows that. Um, but meanwhile, Harley and Ivy do end up kidnapping Joker. And while Harley goes off to, you know, find her bat and do some investigating, doing all that stuff, she then allows for a moment between the Joker and Poison Ivy where they get to bond over their relationships with Harley and talk about the things they loved about her and by the end of the conversation Ivy kind of comes to the realization that she is turning into the Joker because just like when Joker and Harley were together Harley will do literally whatever Ivy wants she will go along with any plan that she comes up with just because she loves her no matter if she agrees with the plan or not she's just gonna do whatever she can to help out Ivy. And so when Ivy realized that, of course, Harley uh, comes back, she's got her bat, she's ready to, well, murder the mayor, aka the Joker. And, you know, you get this really nice, tender, emotional moment between those two characters where they realize Harley has evolved. She's not a villain anymore. And you kind of see earlier in the episode when Bruce Wayne references that, that she kind of tries to deny that. But the truth is that I mean, she's not. She's not a villain anymore. And she doesn't want to fully admit that, like, she's a hero, but she kind of is, or at least an anti-hero. So they end up letting Joker go, and 
the Lex Luthor Legion of Doom plan is off. Again, I mean, hopefully we get to see more of that next season. Maybe Lex Luthor finds somebody else to lead the team. I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, but then Joker goes out there. The movie gets over. You know, everybody's standing ovation and all that stuff. And Joker arrests Bruce Wayne. So Bruce Wayne gets arrested here. And, you know, Batgirl is even telling him about, like, a really easy escape plan. But he intends to serve his sentence um, and make up for the things that he did because, I mean, he did some really bad stuff. So he intends to serve his sentence and, you know, pay for his crimes. And he officially makes Batgirl the new leader of the Bat family. And so then after all of that is said and done, of course, we get a nice uh, final moment between Ivy and Harley. And they're, you know, still in love. And just as the showrunners promised, they're not going to break up. They're going to be a happy couple together for the rest of the series. And the show ends with Harley joining the Bat family because, of course, Batman, his uh, presence is missed in the Bat family. So now you have Nightwing, you have Batgirl, you have Robin, and now they have Harley Quinn, which I know is a thing they've done in the comics recently where Harley has become an official member of the Bat family. I was never really sure how to feel about that, um, just hearing about it, but actually, you know, seeing it in this show, seeing the journey she's gone on throughout this series... It makes sense character-wise. The character arc she's gone through, it it leads to this type of position on the Bat family. And I'm actually really excited to see. Uh, season 4 has already been, of course, confirmed. But I'm really interested to see uh, what is going to happen in Season 4 and how that's going to play out if Harley really is a full-on hero. I mean, is she going to join like the Justice League or anything like that? I don't know, but I definitely am really, really excited to see. Because, again, this show... It has the potential to go on for seasons and seasons. With everything that's going on with HBO Max and DC right now, who knows if that is going to be the case. But I, there, there's something special with this show. And three seasons in, it's still a masterpiece. It's still one of my favorite animated series of all time. And it's just it's just a really beautiful, beautiful show. Um, and this was a great ending to season three, which, to be honest, could be the end of the series. I mean, it, it, I suppose it worked as a series finale, but we do know we're getting season four. and We're going to come back maybe next year, maybe not for season four. Uh, but we do also have the spinoff, the Kite Man spinoff with Noonans. I believe they may be working on that first. So we may be getting that series on HBO Max before we see eventually Harley Quinn season four. But either way, I'm really excited to see more of this universe, more of this world explored in the future on HBO Max. But anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What did you think about Harley Quinn season three? What did you think about the season as a whole and specifically this season finale? And where do you think things are going to go now that we have an officially renewed confirmed season four on the way? So anyways guys, thanks so much for watching, please drop a like if you enjoyed this video, and hit the subscribe button so I can keep the date on if it goes on in the DC life.